Let's say you're a data scientist, and you've been asked to solve a problem. Of course, what you really want is to build an interactive tool so that colleagues can solve the problem themselves. So what we're going to do is take a machine learning model in a Jupyter notebook and turn it into a web application using Anvil, a tool for building web apps with nothing but Python. We're going to use the Anvil uplink. The uplink is a library you can pip install on your computer or wherever your code is running. It connects up to the Anvil cloud, and now your cloud app can call functions in your Jupyter notebook, and your notebook can access code and databases in the cloud. So your colleagues can open a web app, and that web app can be powered by a model running on your own computer. At this point, we always get asked if you can do this 100% on-site on your own corporate network, and the answer is absolutely yes, you can. It works exactly the same way, just that your company gets its own private version of the Anvil server and uses that instead. So here's the plan. We're going to set up a Jupyter Notebook, connect it to an Anvil app, and make a user interface so that we can use our model from the web. Ready? For this example, I'm going to use a notebook I got from Kaggle. It's a model that distinguishes between cats and dogs. You give it an image and it scores it as cat or dog. We want to expose this model to the world. We want a web app where you can upload your own image and get the model's answer. Start by creating an app in Anvil and connecting our notebook to it. We'll go to the gear menu and open the uplink dialog. When we enable the uplink, this gives us a key that we can use to connect our notebook to this app. We need to pip install the Anvil uplink library for our notebook. And now we can import anvil.server and connect with our uplink key. Now our notebook is fully connected to our Anvil app, and so we can do everything we can do with Anvil server functions. We can access our app's data tables from here, we can call server functions, and we can make our own server functions. Let's make an anvil.server.callable function that judges whether an image is a cat or a dog. The image will arrive as an Anvil media object, so let's write it to a file and load it into Pillow. We'll need to transform it, of course, depending on the details of our model, and we do this with the usual Python tools. In this case, we'll resize it to 128 by 128 pixels. We'll make it a NumPy array. We'll expand its dimensionality to match what Keras is expecting. And we'll normalize it so it's 0 to 1 rather than 0 to 255. And then we just feed it into the model. We want our function to return a tuple. At first, the classification, so anything less than 0 0.5 is a dog, anything greater is a cat, and then the score itself. And that's it. Our Jupyter Notebook is ready to be called from our web app. Let's go back to our Anvil app and build a user interface for it. We'll want a card with a file loader for you to upload an image. We'll set it to accept image files. Then to display the result, we'll have an image component and a label to display the classification. We'll call it result label. OK, that's our UI. Now we determine what happens when you load a new file into this file loader. So we're now writing Python code that runs in the web browser when you load a file. We want to call the classify image function on our notebook, which returns the classification and the score. We use anvil.server.call and we give it the name of our function on the server. Uh, we can just pass the uploaded file as an argument to that function. Now all we need is to show the results on our screen. We set the result label's text to show the score. And we display the input file on our image component. Let's run it. And try uploading an image. And it's worked! Look at that cutie! Finally, it's time to publish our app so others can use it. We can keep this app as a private URL so it's only accessible to the colleagues we give the URL to, or we can make it public so anyone can access it. It's up to us. 
I've chosen to make it public. So I can go to cat or dog.anvil.app and use my model from anywhere in the world. We've just turned a machine learning model in a Jupyter notebook into a working web app that anyone can use. But believe it or not, that's only the beginning of what you can do with Anvil. To learn more, check out the other tutorials at anvil.works/learn. See you next time.